Everybody, John here, and today onto the garage, a really quick one on Snoopy the Arbarf 595 and how to add the Arbarf wording onto your grill. So, this is Snoopy, our Arbarf 595. She's a 2017 car, bought a second hand because good price, and she's in practically mint condition. It's done about 16,000 miles. And there was a couple of things when we bought that we wouldn't have selected if we were ticking the option sheet on a brand new car. One was she didn't have the Arbarf stripes on the side. Uh, the original owner had chosen that as a delete, so we put those on. And the other thing is she doesn't have Arbarf on the grill. What the hell do you mean, John? Well, if you look closely at the lower grill, you should be able to make out the grill is made up in the pattern of the letters are bath and it is possible to specify that grill with those letters painted in effect um, you can get aftermarket ones you can um, pen them in with tire paint on a tire paint pen which is relatively easy to do <clears throat> but what we've chosen to do is get hold of a set of 3d printed surrounds that are going to stick on to those to bring out and pick out the Arbarf lettering because we think it looks so smart. So, very quick video today. I'll put a link in the description below to where we got our 3D printed letters from. This is not sponsored in any way, just showing you where we got them from. And uh, I'm going to bang them into place. I previously used a little bit of emery cloth just to scuff up the front edges of all of the letters and I'll go over them with a bit of alcohol just to make sure they're absolutely clean before I fit them but otherwise on they go these are the letters you can see they come from Scorpion Creations and you can find them on eBay and probably other places do do have a website and the letters I call out the A Rather than being stickers as such, are 3D printed elements in a colour of your choice. And they've got a super soft, sticky, um, like a silicon tape on the back. And I would suggest they come out about three mil thick, maybe a little thinner, two and a half maybe. And as long as you've cleaned up your letters, you can go straight into it. Great fun. So let's do that. A bit of white spirits would probably do the job. I've got some nearly pure alcohol. Always best. Just to get rid of any grease or contamination off the front edges of the letters. If you're penning these in, Get a um, tire paint pen to do it. And some people pen just the edge of the letter, and some people pen in sort of the the, uh, the egg crate, if you like, all the little webs inside the letter. It's just a personal preference thing. Um, if you're penning just the edge, it's quite a fine line, sort of subtle effect. If you fill in the egg crate, it's more obvious. Um, but I think it looks a little messy. I don't know, I think it just confuses my eye a little. And occasionally you'll see somebody who's got the, the grill that's been made with the letters on. And it's an entirely different thing. Now well, this, what I'm gonna do is gonna simulate that because the letters will be very bold, but not filled in 
No. Get my little crouching cushion. First one is going there. I'm assuming there's absolutely no difference in the A's. Let's just check. No, they're identical. So that's fine. What I'm gonna do, I think I'll put the outer of the A on first. So I'm just gonna eye it up. Peel off the back in. Now, this isn't like 3M tape or anything like that. As I said, it's kind of like a transparent silicon with a backing paper on. It's never going to set or go off. Which I guess means Theoretically, you'll always be able to remove these letters if you wanted to. But it's certainly going to absorb vibrations well. well. I'm doing it on a very hot day. And I'm deciding that may be a mistake. One, because the top of my head, which is bald, He's pointing at the sun, which is my own fault for not putting my hat on. And two, because the silicon on the back is very soft. And rather than picking the backing paper off, I'm kind of grabbing hold of a bit of that as well and stretching it, which is not ideal. Got myself into the right position to fit these, thinking I'll just whip the back back papers off and on it goes, but I suggest it's probably easier to be sat up somewhere. And maybe even have a pair of tweezers to pull backings off. And then get yourself down at the front of the car. Okay. Oh gosh, that stuff's sticky. Right. Now, first thing I'll tell you is these are not exactly the same shape as the background. So you've got to pick a point and I'm going to decide that the bottom edges are going to be positioned correctly. Really nice and shiny surface on these and you can get them in all manner of colors so if red's your thing yellow you know all those sorts of things you, you can get that so sticky put your fingernail flat against this sticky stuff and uh, you've got to get a right good tug to get it back off I'm impressed Ah, finally. Okay, there's the middle of the A. This is going to be eye it up time. It's kind of irrelevant what the background is doing at this point. You just want to pop it in the middle. Because if you get it, is getting it right and getting it to look right. And you want it to look right. Go. There's the A. Maybe they're
if you're enjoying our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.